Okay, Don, I hope you can hear me. Um, here's a little piece of wood. See, here's the other side where I put the one petal. Anyway, I painted the other side white. Here's the brush I'm going to use right now. Um, crap. As you can see, it's a, it's a flat. It's called a flat brush. It's real tiny. It's about a quarter of an inch across. It's a number four. You see the little number four on there? Okay, so... What I'm going to do now, hope I'm not covering up my microphone, I'm going over here, see where I have the puddles of paint here? I'm getting in the pink, and I'm getting in the plum vineyard, and in the pink again, and if you think, and if you think you're too heavily loaded, see how that paint's really blobbed on there? Just dab it off a little bit, okay, to where then your brush will look, where is it? Your brush will look more like that and won't have the big drippy paint on it. Do you know what I mean? See so yeah, how you can already see the mixture of color on the paint or on the brush. Then I'm going back over here. This is going to be hard to do while I talk, so I may not talk actually while I do it. So just watch. Just like you're drilling a pick now, I started to run out of paint on my brush. You can flip your brush over like I just did. Or you can go back over into your color, do the same thing. Um, check it for big blobbies, dab them off. Go back to your thingy. Let's see. Then do the other side. It's just the way I did it. You'd have to do it the way you do it. Then see how this brush has a, an edge, a smooth, flat edge. You can't see me, but I'm just going back into the paint puddles and doing the same thing. Just so I have the edge of it with paint on it. Now I'm going to try not to talk while I do this so you can just see. Hold your brush so that when it moves you get like a... See what I mean there? You can play and put some movement in it. It doesn't have to be straight lines. Then, color in your lines like I'm doing. Like that. Okay? Don't worry about where that dark color is right there, or where the dark color is down there. You want that because it gives you the variation. Now see that, what I just did right there I'm not gonna worry about that because that can be covered up with the black outline or I can give the petal a little more drama and put the brush back in the paint and do that and fix it you can do it either way except if I do that then I gotta come here and do that okay now you have your basic shape of your petal. Go back over here, dip a little pink and more dark, more dark than pink. Or not, it's your choice. You're the boss because you're doing the painting. Then I just take it, just took it like this. And see, I'm basically doing just up and down strokes I'm going back to get more dark because it started to blend with the pink. So, and you know, however much you want it to blend is up to you how you, um, how much you want to add. So there's those two colors. Now, I'm rinsing out my brush, drying it off. I just rinsed it out and dried it on this nasty paper towel right here. Going over to my white paint. Putting white paint on the brush. And just dab it off so it's not all gloppy. You know, like I said before. And bring it over here. You don't even really have to worry about where the white's going. And you just put in as much as you want. So I'm going to quit talking and try to do this.
so like there you go I put a little more on only because I think it for me I want it more like that for this particular one you just decide how much you want on there and if you want more on you put more on if you want it off you can take it off you have to dry out your brush and then you could like like this little right here see how you could work that out of there and then just work it around however you want to work it around it's got to remember you are in charge for the most part. Okay, now for the second step, taking that little tiny homemade brush. Now this I know I cannot talk and do at the same time because I'm nuts. Anyway, load it in the paint and see how it's kind of gloppy, but that's okay because you kind of want your outline to really stand out, right? I'm assuming you do, and I would too. So, I'm going to quit talking, and I'm going to outline this thing. I need more paint. Got more paint. Now I have to turn this to uh, so that I don't have to paint upside down. God, I'm hoping this is going to show up all right. Go around there. Okay. So you can see how that's on there. Got more paint on my brush. Do this. And there's that. Then, what I did, I just got a little more paint on my brush, only I didn't get it as gloppy, but still. Got a little more on, and I put a line here, a line here, and a line there. And there you go. That's all I did. And like right there, you can see a little bit of pink th showing through. I would not worry about that. And like right here, it's like a little imperfection almost because the paint's thicker right there. But that's okay because it gives it texture. And that makes paintings pretty interesting more interesting than no texture depending on the type of painting for something like this the texture is a good thing anyway that's there's a hibiscus petal done the way I would do it um, and pretty easy um, I'm gonna go right now so I can deal with this guy I gotta deal with and if that video isn't okay um, let me know when you're done with your stuff and we'll do another one or some you know soon you come down and we'll do one together you know but really I promise you if you just play with this you will get the hang of it in no time and uh, and, and you can use any colors you want you wouldn't have to put white in there for your highlights maybe you wanted yellow highlights maybe you wanted a you know whatever you the boss you the girl okay so that took, I'm looking right now, it took uh, about nine minutes for just one petal. But that's because I don't do this all the time. Plus, I was trying to watch the camera and the the wood, so that was kind of hard to do. But um, anyway, I'm going to stop this now and see if I can get it uploaded either to Facebook or YouTube. And I will send it to you. I'll send it through uh, Facebook messages. Bye.